So I've got a 4K camera in my hand. This is the first consumer 4K from Sony. It's uh, tiny. It um, doesn't matter if it's tiny or not, but it's 4,500 euro, maybe dollar or so, something like that. And uh, so it records 4K in this new card. Come, come, come close. Here it says, uh, this is a uh, XAVCS technology, I guess. That's the name, huh? XAVCS. That's the, that's the codec. The codec. X XQD. XQD. So this is a new, because right here you have all the, all the ports. You have an SD card, it goes in here. You have two XQD ports. You can have 64 GB on each, and that allows for 180 megabytes maximum per second. Because you need a lot of bitrate to have very good quality 4K. And I can actually hold it for a few minutes and I'm fine. Otherwise you put it on a tripod or you film just with two hands or you hold like this. Uh, but this is a standard form factor for semi-professional, I guess. So I really don't know what I'm talking about, but it's 4K. Uh, finally, it's available. Of course, because Sony has a whole bunch of 4K TVs, so it, that's why it's coming. And there's gonna be 4K maybe on the phones too, but this is really good optics, I guess. Uh, and it's the one that's gonna be maybe the best at that kind of price until until there gets to be 4K over there, but that's not yet. So there's no 4K for the 2,000 euro. There's only 4K for 4,000 something. Uh, two XLR, nice. I would have liked to be able to uh, record a sample and just put it up on my YouTube in 4K, but for now, uh, this this card doesn't fit in here. Oh, there's no, I don't know this card. This is a special card, okay? I don't have one of those. So I cannot record 4K. If you put a, a normal SD card, it's just 1080p. Uh, USB, you can even connect a USB. You can have a huge battery here. You don't connect a hard drive, I don't think so. You cannot connect any hard drives. Just connect these new XQD. Maybe it's only gonna be Sony. Maybe it's everybody's working on it. Some other guys are working on it. I guess Nikon, Canon, Panasonic, they're all gonna have XQD in 2014, maybe. I'm just, maybe I'm talking too much. I don't know, but uh, it looks interesting. Uh, super high bit rate, 4K. Uh, now we just need to have 2,000 euro, or maybe at least 4,000 euro 4K TVs. I'm gonna go and ask, but I don't think so. Not at Sony, maybe at the Chinese booth. So, 4K, it's cool. Uh, 4,000, hmm. should I sell this Panasonic 1080p? Hmm. No, maybe not, because I don't know how to use it, so. Well, maybe I should try to learn. And uh, yeah, it's cool. 4K, 60p. Uh, it goes around 150 megabyte per second for 60p, that's what I heard. Uh, uh, 4K output on a single HDMI in 30p, unless you have HDMI 2.0, which this does not support. Ah, it does support. Uh, so for example, this TV right here is a uh, 60p uh, 4K. So is it possible to connect it now and show 4K? No, it's not possible, it's, but... It's uh, over there. How soon? Over there it's connected. Over there it's connected. We're yeah. gonna go over there. How soon is this on the market? On the November. November, 4,500 euros, something like that. Uh, let's go over there and check it out. I'm just gonna pick up your, your bag. Uh, thanks a lot. Where? Where is it? Over there, 4K gallery. Over there. Okay, we're gonna go now. Let's go and find the camera. Connected. It's connected right now. Yeah. No, it's not. Ah, there is. This is a 4K. Is it possible to put it there? No. How do you switch? It's possible. Okay, but not right now. I'm gonna go in front, and we're gonna see me in 4K. So right now I'm in 4K for the first time in my life, I think. No, I've been in 4K before in pictures. But uh, if you check this screen here, you can zoom in on that one over there. And uh, you can try to see uh, all the details and stuff of this camera. I can try to, but it doesn't help. Uh, so, do you see the 4K details? Does it, does it out of focus? Maybe it doesn't. But uh, here you have 4K. So, there's no 4K here. There's only 4K there. So, 
Was I in 4K? I was in 4K. Amazing. Cool. Let's continue the video just a little bit. Because 55 inch 4K. Okay. Now, now we're talking. Maybe if this gets to be 2000 or less, then I'm happy. I need to ask somebody how much it costs. Hey, do you know how much the 55 inch 4K is? 55 inch 4K. Inch. Do you know how much it costs? 55 inch 4K? 55 uh, yeah, the one over there. This one. Um, this screen. Oh, no, this one. Is for USA, I don't know the price. USA is gonna sell this. Yes, yes. Uh, who knows? Nobody know here. Somebody know? Can we ask somebody? Who can we know about the I price? Don't know. You don't but know? On the press? There, there you know the price on of this Sony one, press. right? That's that, that's model um, X8. 65 inch. It's for USA. USA also. Yes, yes. So where's the European ones? This This model uh, X9 is 65 inch, yeah? What is this, 65? 55. Ah, 55. So this 55 is... 55 inch. How much is this? How much it costs? Uh, 4,000 4, euros. How much? 4,000. 4,000 yes. euros? Euros. Hey, we're and talking 4,000 euros now. And yes. how much? 5,500. Uh, 5,500, you get 65 inch. 4,000 euro, you get 55 inch. And uh, the 80, 84 inch is more expensive, maybe 20,000 uh, USD. So we're getting uh, 4,000 Euro. Uh, it looks good, but it should be 2,000. Because uh, 2,000, I could maybe consider uh, mortgaging my... I don't have anything to mortgage. Maybe on my website. Yeah, and then I could just stare at this. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit... Uh, Permit, but I would stare. No, I shouldn't. Sometimes I, I there's limits. Let's go over here. Oh, okay. 4K movie service from Sony. Video on demand 4K. How much bandwidth do you need? Do you know? Sorry. How much bandwidth do you need for 4K? The the bit rate for the 4K video unlimited. Do you know? No, I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Maybe it says here. Nope. But I'm guessing 10 megabit, 15 megabit, something you need. Uh, maybe 20 megabit. So, uh, here we're talking upscaling of the 4K. <laughs> here we're talking uh, glittery. 4K OLED, OLED 4K, 55, 56 inch, uh, HDMI 2.0, I guess it's on all the new TVs uh, shipping in Europe, uh, sorry, do you know if uh, HDMI 2.0 is uh, included in these, this HDMI is included, do you know, yeah, this HDMI 2.0 on all the new 4K TVs in Europe, that's really important. So, and then you have uh, tiny small 4K projectors here, uh, don't know the price. Oh, let's go in the home cinema 4K. Finish. I finished. Okay. So, uh, so there we are. We are at 4,000 euro. Maybe at $4,000 at Sony. Uh, 4,000, 4,000, 4,000 for camera, 4,000 for a screen. Maybe in uh, five months after CES, it'll be 2,000 for a camera, 2,000 for a screen. That's what we can hope, because otherwise 4K is only for rich people. <laughs> 